that a little bit. These old wheels and tires I had, I had them on, on my 73 Chevy, the red one out there that everybody's acquainted with. And uh, it's hard to get good looking wheels in an eight lug in my opinion. But I found some that look a little better than these and I put some little bit lower profile tires on that old Chevy. And these are kind of big old things. And I gave them to Kerwood and he ran them on his step van for a couple of years and then he gave them back to me and because he was getting rid of the van. And I put them on here so uh, wasn't out anything there, but uh, replacing uh, freeze plugs. They're really easy to get to, so it's uh, it's not too big a chore. And I got into this thing and found really good brake shoes on it. I mean, uh, they're they look brand new, so I don't have to do those. But uh, I'm going to replace the wheel cylinders, and then uh, I, whoa. Ran into that ugly old bumper. I gotta get that thing out of here. But I ran into an issue with my lights. I have no, uh, I have no uh, tail lights, no brake lights, no signal lights. And I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I gotta get this thing down and, and I'm waiting to get my wheel cylinders. They should be here tomorrow. Then I can get those on and make it a rolling truck again and get it so I can get in the door. I can't open the door right now where it's sitting, where it's sitting on the lift. You know, I'm thinking, since this thing is dry, I might pop that off of there and make a new gasket. I've got some gasket material here, and uh, apparently it was leaking pretty bad in order to drain it, so I might have to just fix that up a little bit. It wasn't dry, but there wasn't a whole lot in it. I don't know port I guess it probably won't hold a whole lot more than that but I couldn't reach it with my little finner okay we'll go build a gasket <laughs> 